Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a special video because I'll be showing you my most favorite floral paintings that I've done over the years and um, please uh, don't be mad at me if most of them are from my trip to France because when I visited France I saw so many flowers especially when I visited um, the house of Claude Monet if you know Monet of course you know Monet so when I visited his place I saw a lot of flowers because that was spring when I visited France in 2019 and also in 20 yeah 2019 that was spring and Christmas season during 2019 as well so same year so let's begin now guys so I'll be showing you 11 floral paintings but the number one will be uh, my most favorite the rest will not be ranked in any particular order or manner but for my number one it's of course my most favorite floral painting and I'll have a short explanation for each one of them let's proceed now and I'll be showing you one of my Paris floral painting and this is an iris painting you know how much I love Vincent van Gogh he also loves um, uh, iris flowers and when I went to France back in 2019 I saw a lot of irises and that was the very first time that I saw in person <laughs> the flower iris and here is one of my iris flowers this is just one of my favorites Oh guys, this is so pretty guys. Because of the light effect, I took this photo myself. Um, this is just a, like a white purplish um, iris flower. I really like this because number one, again, that was the very first time that I saw an iris flower in my entire life. And number two, I really like the light play here. You can see some shadows, you can see some light effects, which I love to paint. This is just one of my favorites yeah so there you go guys I think this will forever be my favorite iris flower because this is so personal to me just like many of my Paris paintings they're just so personal to me all right so let's proceed to my second um, favorite most favorite floral painting okay again this is uh, Paris uh, trip base painting but you know this is a special painting because this was the last flower that I took a picture of when I left um, uh, auvergne sur -Oise in uh, the outskirts of Paris where Vincent van Gogh uh, stayed for a couple of months this is the very last flower that I took a picture of so there you go it's a it's a white flower that I really don't know the name of uh, I took a picture of it um, when we were about to leave the the tourist destination there so it's a beautiful white flower and I also like the light play of this flower because of the shadows and the highlights I really like it and again, it's personal to me because you know how much I love Vincent van Gogh. He's not French, not at all. He's Dutch, but you know, his last uh, days were spent in Paris or I mean in France, not in Paris, but you know, his last days were spent in France. That's why when I went there, I took as much pictures as, you know, uh, as I wanted. And here's one. So I hope you like this one. Okay. let's proceed to my next floral painting and of course this is also a Paris based painting because most of my florals um, were based from that trip because I really um, took advantage of the time to take pictures of whatever that I can take picture of so here is another iris flower there's a lot of light light plate here this is one Again, I took a picture of this myself and it's also one of the most beautiful irises that I saw there. It's quite um, 
maroony color, um, magenta color, and some ultramarine blue. You can see, or cobalt blue. You can actually see the colors. And because of the light play, um, the magenta colors, you can see that. You know, it's like the light peeking through the petals of this iris flower. I took a photo of my irises uh, when I visited the house of Monet. So there you go guys. So let me, let me show you another uh, floral painting of mine. This one is not, um, the next one I mean, is not based on my Paris trip, but it's just one of my favorites because of the light play that is involved. And I think I made a tutorial for this one. I mean, like a year later, after doing this one, I made a tutorial for all of you, but that was made on a very small canvas. This one is quite huge. So it's a peony painting that I also like. I think many people, when I posted this one, I think many people really like this one because of the light play. And I really enjoyed painting florals before and I love the huge canvas because it's just so free to paint on large canvases for me than painting on small canvases. That's why I really like this painting because of the light. You can actually see the flower and you can actually um, suppose from it the presence of sunlight hitting the petals and some sort of um, other plants that cause the shadow uh, over the petals. So again, this is one of my favorites. I'll be linking the tutorial for this painting down in the description box below if you're interested. Again, that was made on a smaller canvas. Um, that was made on a smaller canvas because I was doing the tutorial. I made this prior to doing the tutorial. I did not do this uh, for the tutorial. But since many people requested me to do a painting for this one, so I did like a year later. So, all right. Let me put it, that, put it down and show you another iris painting. Uh, I don't know guys, um, I think I've mentioned this a lot. Uh, whenever I post on Facebook or whenever I am doing the tutorial that my favorite flower is iris or if not one of my favorite flowers the iris because of its significance to my favorite artist Vincent van Gogh and I cannot deny the fact that irises are really pretty flowers they're like they're like dress of a girl <laughs> or they're like skirts that are just flowy and colorful very classy that's why i just love this flower again this one the next one uh is a photo that i took uh i mean this is a flower i took a picture of myself when i was in uh again in Giverny in the house of monet It's also one of my favorites, of course. All of these are my favorites. So this is the iris flower that I took a picture of myself. I really like this one because of the presence of those yellow, yellow colors. It looks so natural to me. I really don't like flowers that are looking so perfect. I don't like that because they, they look like digital artwork for me. They don't have those natural colors of natural objects especially when we're painting flowers trees or anything natural landscapes or seascapes i really like some imperfections they make the painting look more natural and more beautiful to me so yeah i'm really proud of this one because look at it for me this is just one of the best iris paintings that i've done so yeah there you go and I would like to apologize in advance because some of my paintings, I think most of my paintings here will not have a tutorial because of their uh, significance to me. There are personal works of mine. So I really reserve, uh, I really reserve them for myself and for those who want to buy my paintings. But I think I will exhibit them first before selling them. 
so uh, intentionally I did not or I do I do not want to make any tutorial for personal paintings of mine especially for those who I mean especially for those that are um, trip uh, inspired so especially personal trips uh, of mine I don't want to make any tutorial for that I just want to keep them for myself I mean the process of doing them I have a lot of floral painting tutorials but for this ones these are just special to me and I hope you understand guys because I know that some artists also do that and for me I chose not to do any tutorials for this one maybe a similar a similar floral painting for this ones I can do that but not the exact same thing because of their personal significance in my life so yeah this is so beautiful guys I whenever I look at them again I you know I I feel like I am going back to I'm traveling back to time when you know I was traveling and everything was just so free and no restrictions and all that I feel like I am back in France again okay so let me tell you or let me show you some of my oil paintings that I did when I came back from Seoul so when I came back to my country from Seoul where I stayed for six years I tried doing some oil paintings that I really don't do normally because I'm using acrylics normally so I did I have here three um, bouquet paintings that I really like although I really had a hard time doing them because they're oil there are different rules set for oil uh, different from those set for acrylics so let me show you one of my oil paintings This one. This is just a bouquet of wedding flowers. Um, and what I like about this one is the greens and the whites. I think it's very neat, very tidy. Like this just uh, very fresh, very cool to the eyes. That's what I like about this painting. And I did this a couple of months ago. Um, yeah, so it's oil guys. This is not acrylics. It's oil. It's quite impressionistic. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, take a closer look. But it's quite impressionistic because I'm, I was using oil, and you know how oil works. They are more. Um, they're quite wet, right? They're not really drying so quick. So layering was such an issue for me. But I tried. I tried because I really wanted to see. How my painting would look like if I use oil so this is just one of my bouquet flower paintings in that series so I hope you like this one as well because I really like this one this is a wedding bouquet all right so let me show you another painting of mine floral painting and this is another oil painting these are just a bunch of roses so there you go this is an oil painting of mine that I did like um, almost same time when I did the bouquet of flowers that I just showed you earlier so this one is just a bunch of roses and I what I like about this one is that they're quite large you can see some details on the depth of the flowers right I really like this one it's just uh, full of colors and full of passion I think so there are also some white flowers but I think the most attractive flower is this one the orange one I don't know that's what I think that's my favorite flower the orange one okay so let me show you another bouquet flower, uh, flower painting of mine this is uh, I think one the first oil the first oil painting of all my bouquet series that I did. So this one, it's also pretty. There are a lot of flowers. In all honesty, guys, there are a lot of flowers that I did here. I think I spent so much time doing this one. Um, again, there is no tutorial for my oil paintings because I did my oil paintings for personal purposes. I did them because I wanted to 
you know, I kind of wanted to practice how to use oils and I think florals are just a good subject for me uh, when it comes to oils because I can go impressionistic. So yeah, this is just one of my bouquet flower using oil. So I hope you like this one. Maybe I'll create another oil painting series. You know, I just do what I want to do, guys. So whenever I feel like doing something, I'll just do it. Um, I really don't care if uh, if I'm using acrylics. If I want to use oil, watercolor, I'll just use it. You know, I can just simply switch from one medium to another whenever I want to. But again, I, I think I've mastered acrylics more than oil. That's why when I tried oil, I chose a subject that would really fit my style and my um, capability. So there you go, guys. Let me show you another acrylic. Let's go back to acrylic. Another floral painting of mine. And I think I've shown you guys this painting when I did a comparison between my 2017 and 2020 paintings. But I just want to show you again because this is one of my favorite floral paintings. All right, and let me tell you why it's my favorite. It's a yellow rose, it's a yellow peony. Um, I really like this painting because again, light play. I really like the light play in this painting. And number two, some people say that it's quite hard to work with yellow color. And I think yellow is one of the most fun colors uh, among the set of colors that I have. Number one reason, um, yellow is just bright. It's just a happy color. And number two, um, I can actually play with the light using yellow. I think it's much easier for me to play with the light when I'm using yellow because, you know, just add white or, or um, I don't know, add orange or red or black just to dim the colors. So yeah, this this flower, I really love this flower because of the depth. You can see some depth here and inside, right? And then the light play right here where the light strikes the petals. So yeah, I hope you like this one, guys. Okay, let me show you another rose painting that I did a couple of months back. So this is a rose painting. And if you look closely, there are some water droplets uh, on the petals. I did this a couple of months ago. So it's acrylic and what I really like about this one is the depth, the depth of this flower. Um, it actually pops out. It looks like it's going to pop out of the canvas, even if the canvas is black. It seems like there's some sort of light, although there's not so much of it, but you can actually see the flower um, right on top of the black canvas. I hope I'm making sense, guys. I hope I'm making sense. I mean, compared to this one, compared to the yellow flower, right? You can actually tell that there's some sort of sun, sunlight that is hitting the petals. This one, it's not sunlight that is hitting the flower. It's more of like moonlight, right? It's like the light of the night, right? So I hope you, you get what I'm saying, guys. There's no sunlight here. But there's just enough light for you to see the flower. It doesn't have to be sunlight. It could be moonlight, street light, right? So yeah, I hope you like this one as well. This is a rose painting. I have a lot of rose painting tutorials. You can actually check them out. I'll be linking some floral painting links to this video, maybe down below or up here somewhere. So just go check it out if you're interested in redoing some of them. But this one, again, I have no tutorial for this one because when I did this one, I just wanted to paint for myself. And yeah, this is just one of my favorites. All right, so let me tell you now, what do you think is my number one floral painting? Actually, I was about to, to rank number one. The sunflower painting that I did uh, it was a sunflower painting. It, is, it was a sunflower 
that was right on top of Vincent van Gogh's tomb when I was in France. So when I visited his tomb, I saw a sunflower right on top of it. And I took a picture of it and painted it when I came back. But that painting got sold already to a Van Gogh fan again, to my teacher. Um, she wanted that sunflower painting because she's also a fan of Vincent van Gogh. And I finally let that painting go because that is my painting so I can redo it whenever I want to, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I am free to redo my own paintings, especially uh, a, a painting that is just personal to me. I can redo that whenever I want to, as many times as I want to. But since I don't have that painting anymore with me, I cannot rank it my number one because it's no longer, uh, I don't think that would be fair with uh, my paintings that are still with me, if I'm going to rank it number one because it's not with me now. I mean, it's number one, it's important to me. But there's just one flower that I really like and it's also personal to me. Again, one of my floral paintings based on my trip to Paris when I visited Giverny, uh, the house of Monet, I took a picture of this flower. So let me get that painting now so that you can see my number one floral painting, most favorite. I also like this because of the light play and because of the depth. This is my most favorite floral painting. I actually don't know what kind of flower is this. I think this is a lily, right? This is a lily, it's a form of, it's a type of lily. But I took a picture of this flower when I was in Monet's garden and I really like this painting because it just kind of pops out of my canvas and when I took this photo I really like positioned my camera in such a way that the light is captured like you can see the highlighted portion the depth you can see some shadows as well um, right so yeah, this is, just, this is my most favorite. Actually, all of them are my favorites, but I think this one is just, whenever I see this painting, I feel like happy and it reminds me so much of my trip to Paris, um, of how excited I was when I was there, of how motivated I was when I was there. So yeah, this is my number one. I, I actually did this again like twice i did this twice first this one and the other one was sometime 2020 because i just like this flower so much it was painted on a smaller canvas it was also relatively big but not as big as this one yeah gosh this is so pretty so i hope you like this video it's just a uh, it's like a mini exhibit of my floral paintings i have tons of florals guys but um, back in 2017 I was just starting so my floral paintings were not as pretty um, that's why most of my floral paintings are or my, my most favorite are from 2019 2020 2021 those from 2017 2018 they are not really my favorite but they are not they are not something that I want to throw or paint over it's just that this 11 are just special for me because or special to me because of their significance in my life and um, the other florals they are more of learning experience for me the techniques that I should do whenever I'm painting the light whenever I'm painting petals whenever I'm painting natural subjects because I love painting flowers and as you can see my florals are not really perfect perfectly shaped flowers they are look at this painting there are some hints of browns you can actually see that in a natural flower i really don't like flowers that are perfectly looking they look like not real to me they do not give me that vibe that i can actually see this flower in real life when it's just too perfect 
it's for me it's more like a fantasy like a wish but for this flower I know that I can actually see and touch this flower and I actually did right because I took a picture of this flower myself and I know that in the future I can actually see another flower similar to this one because it's not a fantasy painting it's not about you know imagining things I was I'm not imagining things when I'm painting guys I am a realist painter and I think most of you already know that because I really appreciate the beauty of real things of natural things and I think some of you are already I mean are also like that who are appreciative of natural beauty especially of nature so yeah gosh you know I have a lot of things to say whenever it whenever I talk about my floral paintings because there was a time in my life when people call me the floral painter uh, because there was this like a month like a full month I was just doing florals and I kept on posting on Facebook those florals I think one third of my paintings consists of florals if I'm not mistaken and one third landscapes and one third seascape something like that but florals are just a part of my art journey because of their beauty because of personal significance and because of the techniques that it has or they have taught me whenever I paint a flower you know each time I paint a flower there are just so many techniques that I've that I learned uh, in my own practice so yeah i hope you enjoyed my floral paintings guys because i love to paint florals in fact i might do a floral painting tutorial next time after this video i mean following this video i think that will be the next tutorial for all of you so see you in my next video guys i hope you enjoyed this one and have a good day